गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल टुडेस टॉपिक इज डाई पेनिट्रेंट इंस्पेक्शन सो वी विल एक्सप्लेन वी विल अंडरस्टैंड इन दिस वीडियो व्हाट इज डाई पेनिट्रेंट इंस्पेक्शन एंड हाउ इट विल बी अप्लाइड इन द जॉइंट वेल्ड जॉइंट सो इट्स इट इज अ पार्ट ऑफ द एनडीडी यू आर नॉट डिस्ट्रॉइंग द एनीथिंग सो इट इज कम्स अंडर नॉन डिस्ट्रक्टिव टेस्टिंग सो एंड दिस वीडियो पर्टिकुलरली I have made at, as per the requirement CC 3.1, and this is for also the QA QC inspector, all uh, uh, QC inspector at who are working at site. This will be very helpful. The total process we have made in this video. So let's start. So a welding inspector should have a working knowledge of NDT methods and their application advantages and disadvantages. So who will be check this NDT method? The welding inspector. So that welding inspector should have their knowledge of NDT methods. Means there are four NDT methods, MT, PT, UT, and LPT. So all these things you need to know the actual which principle they are working and their application where it will be applied it's not like that you are using one particular entity method at t maybe that area it is not required at t that area is required for mpt so you need to know their application where it will be used their advantages and disadvantages then only you can as a welding inspector you can check their entity inspection so there are four basic entity methods we have magnetic particle inspection die penetrant inspection that is called pt radiographic inspection that is called rt and ultrasonic inspection that is called ut this four basic inspection method we have in ndt so we will discuss today the die penetrant inspection it is the widely used in the anywhere in the industry you can see that die penetrant inspection basically if you are doing any fabrication industry definitely this inspection is very important so the diaphragmatic inspection the surface breaking defects only detected so you should know in this penetrant inspection diaphragmatic inspection only surface breaking defects you can detect you cannot detect you cannot detect below the surface if you have any defect in the particular old metal or the parent metal below the surface you cannot detect you detect only the surface breaking surface second is i am explaining one by one what is the actual criteria for this die penetrant inspection this test method uses the forces of capillary action so what is the principle of this penetrant inspection you should remember very well the capillary action means capillarity action the same thing so the lpt is based on capillary or capillarity attraction where a liquid is able to flow means if there is a surface breaking if you have put a liquid in this surface break, breaking area that the liquid will be flow to the narrow spaces if there is a narrow spaces without the assistance of even in opposition to external forces such as gravity means that is the capillary action that liquid if you put enter this surface breaking area it will go the everywhere in that narrow spaces there will not be any external forces such as gravity so that's called the capillary action third is the only limitation on the material type is the material cannot be porous so this material you should not do porous material the dpt test porous material you cannot do dpt test means porous means this material is not the solid it's a wide material so you cannot do this dpt test so that limitation is the material type only will be the porous penetrants are available in many different types you can see the penetrants in the market in the different types you can find out first is water washable contrast second is solvent removable contrast 
third is water washable fluorescent fourth is solvent removal fluorescent so this and the last is the post emulsifiable fluorescent so we are using the somewhere water washable somewhere solvent removable the, this is the different types of penetrate we are using in that based on the application depends on the application in which area you have to do which penetrant so this was the this is the normal explanation a normal view of the dry penetrant inspection how we have to do what is the principle of this lpt and what type of defect only you have to do and what is the limitation of the material type so all these things it is explained in this in this page so we'll go now step one we have to know now go the step by step the process we need to know very well step one is the pre-cleaning pre-cleaning is the first step what do you have to do in the pre-cleaning ensure surface is very clean normally with the use of a solvent you are using a solvent that solvent that should be approved by the procedure or approved by the client what you are, what you are using that solvent that solvent may be magna plus in the different company is there so you have to check first surface should be very clean with the use the use of solvent now you can see here this is the welding material this is the welding the weld, welder have done the welding this is you see that this is your breaking surface breaking from here to here means this is defect you see this is the defect so you have to clean this area from here to here with the use of the solvent you have to means you have to clean the weld that area this area you have to clean properly means surface you have to clean properly with the use of solvent now step two apply penetrant you have to use the apply penetrant means that penetrant it goes to the breaking inside the narrow spaces so after the application of the penetrant what will happen the penetrant is normally left on the component surface for approximately 15 minutes means you have to apply the penetrant in the whole joint weld joint and you have to wait for the 15 minutes mean that is called the dwell time you have to uh, used means you have to wait for the 15 minutes for the checking now the penetrant enters any defect that may be present by capillary action so you see here you are doing the penetrant here so wherever the defect is there the penetrant it will, will go inside so any defects that may be present by capillary action means it present in the capillary action it will go inside so the dwell time is very important that is the 15 minutes is the dwell time it will be it will be stay like this way this 15 minutes now step 3 you have done the apply penetrant now also the same three is a step three after the penetrant dwell time finish what do you have to do clean up penetrant so that clean up penetrant how you have to do there is also the clean up penetrant as the solvent is there so after sufficient penetration time you have finished the dwell time you have finished the 15 minute what will happen has to given the penetrant is removed so we have to remove that penetrant you see there is no penetrant is there means that penetrant has been removed must be taken not to wash any penetrant out of any defect present so you have to check the penetrant should be removed properly from this oil joint area so this is called cleanup penetrant you have done the cleanup so what will happen now what you need to do apply developer means you have cleaned the surface then you have applied the penetrant then you have wait for the 15 minutes that is called the dwell time and then you have to do the clean of the penetrant after that what you have to do apply developer so you need to apply developer there 
after the penetrant has been cleaned sufficiently a thin even layer of developer is applied so what you have to do you have to do on developer that is should be also the cleaner penetrant and developer all these things should be approved by client so i already told this one may be different company so that developer should be applied in that when uh, that well joint area where you have clean the penetrant so the developer act as a contrast agents the penetrants and allow for reverse capillary action to take place so when you are giving when you are spraying the developer there in that capillary action whatever penetrant is there in the breaking surface breaking area it will be comes out so when it will be comes out you see here when it will be comes out see here you can see the red line is coming here to here so means this area there is a surface breaking means there is a discontinuity is there so that's called the apply developer so apply developer you have seen so what we'll do now step four you have to do inspection development time inspection should take place immediately after the developer has been applied so this is very important you have spraying the developer you have you finish the developer applied after that the inspector should come immediately and see he should have the cheek the weld joint if there is any defect are there or not if defect is there definitely it will show a bleed out during development time after full inspection what will happen has been carried out post cleaning is generally required so this is very important also uh, after penetrant uh, developer you have given then immediately should have the come should come the inspector for checking and if there is any defects he should check means the defects should be comes out as a bleed out during development time time and after full inspection what will happen there should be post cleaning the full joint means that is very important that the post cleaning because if there is a post cleaning is not done properly it will problem in the painting in after the finished material there will be the painting the painting problem could be there so you can see here now after developer they are applied then there is a bleed out coming from here to here means you understand there is a defect from here to here so this is the step one step two step three and step four you understand so what are the step all there step three first step step one you see pre-cleaning is the first step Second step, step is the apply penetrant. Third is the what? Third is the clean of penetrant. Clean, you are doing the, you are done the clean. Now apply developer. You finish apply developer. Now you see the inspection. This is the step four. You have finished the LPT test. Now just fluorescent penetrant. If you see the fluorescent penetrant means bleed out viewed under a uv light source you are seeing a uv light source there is a bleed out coming from where to where this is called fluorescent penetrant and this one you can see by visually bleed out viewed under white light you can see in the white light color contrast penetrant that is called color contrast penetrant you see this is this area have the problem means the penetrant is goes inside there is a breaking in the surface that is called web defect. Now, two things are very important. You should know that I penetrant inspection. What is the advantage? What is the disadvantage? Advantage is simple to use. It is very simple. How to detect the any defect? Inexpensive. That is not too much expensive for this particular solvent, penetrant, cleaner, penetrant, and remover and developer. That is quick result. You can get the quick result. Fourth is can be used on any non-porous material. Definitely you can use any of the non-porous material. You can use. There is a only limitation. You cannot do any porous material. 
portability is there portability yes this is done that is the three bottles only you can you can portable to anywhere in the place low operator skill required you did not require the so much experienced people for this particular lpd test but you should you should need the skill worker what are the disadvantage you can do only surface wrapping defect means inside the surface inside the welding you cannot see any type of defect only you can see the surface breaking this is only this is one disadvantage little indication of depth means you can see the little indication of depth if there is a depth is there surface breaking you see the little indication penetrant may contaminate component this is only disad this is one of the disadvantage is there if there is a penetrant is there that it contaminate it may be contaminate with the welding metal means the parent metal or welding metal it can be contaminated with the penetrant this is only one disadvantage surface preparation critical yes surface preparation critical if there is a surface preparation is not clean properly so it can be false defect it will be come out post cleaning required definitely after you have finished the inspection you have to do post cleaning that is one disadvantage another is potentially hazardous chemicals this one is very hazardous chemical you have to put the marks in your nose it should not be on it should not inhale anyway in this body so it can be it is it is hazardous chemical so this is the advantage and disadvantages of this dye penetrant inspection hope you understand the full video and this is a very uh, uh, very easy to understand to lpt how we have to use in this material thanks a lot for watching this video please like share and subscribe my channel to get the regular update thanks a lot